Good afternoon, everyone. Welcome to the Rubber Bowl. It's a historic day in Akron. Uh, at this time, I'm going to introduce Akron Mayor Dan Horrigan. Afterwards, we're going to have an opportunity for you guys to actually um, enter the Rubber Bowl and step on the field, and we'll have some instructions for you at that time. So, Mayor Dan Horrigan. Thank you. Not that you've come past this line, most of you anyway, so we'll give you a legal way to do that. Um, today is, is a pretty bittersweet moment. Uh, while the Rubber Bowl is standing before us, it is a vacant eyesore. It's really a magnet for vandalism and a safety hazard. Um, this structure was once a beacon of engineering, athletic skill, and entertainment in our great city. And I think I speak for most Akronites um, of my generation and even a couple when I say that uh, the Rubber Bowl served as a gathering place, not only for myself, but for the events that bookmarked many of our lives. Maybe it was a site of your favorite rock concert. Maybe it was a first date, um, a particularly memorable college football game. Everyone from Bob Hope, Mick Jagger, Billy Graham once graced this field. I can't tell you the countless number of games that I, I, I've come here, whether growing up and coming to football games with my dad or on Thanksgiving morning when the uh, City Series championship was playing um, or even into events in college and seeing the Akron-Kent game. Um, but after 78 years, it's really time for us to say goodbye. In fact, um, it's probably a little bit overdue in this case. The memories we made here will last forever, but the Rubber Bowl itself is ready for demolition, as you can tell. And the most important result of this demolition is that it will open us up the possibility of future development for the Akron Fulton Airport and the adjacent Derby Downs. And I want to thank many members of the Derby Downs board are here, and Mark, uh, the executive director, is here. Thank you for coming down. And Bob Hope, our local councilman uh, for Ward 6. Um, and Bob and I have been talking about this particular project for I know as long as I've been mayor for almost three years and talking about what the future of is and I'm sure this is a pretty good day for both of us as we see this start to happen. I think the future is bright for this neighborhood as we look forward to celebrating the new developments the years to come. The demolition starts this week. We'll move about 60% of the structure. Um, Washington Boulevard here to my right and your left will stay up for the time being uh, to prevent any disruption in the roadway. And the partial demolition is expected to be completed by the end of October. It has started already but we are working around the Derby schedule to allow for as many events as they can have, um, which I think is important. And I think probably the most important message of today is uh, this site is not a playground. And I've talked about a lot of urban explorers coming out here over the last month, um, but it is an active demolition site. While trespassing may have been tolerated in the past, the site is now under 24-hour security. And anyone seeking to sneak in for one last glimpse could find themselves being arrested. And nobody wants that, especially me. So speak, please uh, think twice before stopping by. Uh, I really want to thank all of you for coming out tonight. I know there was a strong desire for many of you to get one last look. Um, and we're going to allow that in just a few minutes. But I'd be more than happy to take any questions that you have right now. Uh, the other 40% kind of allows for this part, so that's going to stay up and hold George Washington up for a while, then we'll seek funding for sources and an engineering solution for that particular part of it too, but it's definitely in the future. Jennifer? Any ideas at all about what the city would like to see on this side? Well, to say those are the discussions we've been having over the last three years too, is that really kind of what prevented it is that this has always been here. So when the visual is when you drive by, you see this structure here kind of falling apart. So you couldn't really say, hey, we can do this there. Um, once this part at least comes down, you can kind of notice it opens up that back part uh, significantly. We have an airport group as a planning strategy group to kind of come up with some ideas of what comes back out here. It's definitely an economic development tool with the number of acres out here. I'd like to, you know, there's a lot of different ideas. It's just getting one to fruition and then taking it forward from there. Is there a plan to honor the rubber bowl in any way? Uh, not that I know of. Mayor, can you tell us why do you think this uh, place holds such a special place in people? Well, if you look at the, literally the millions of people that have come through here, um, you know, Bob Hope was here, the Rolling Stones were here, you had two World Series of rock concerts here in the mid-70s. People came here and made memories, um, whether it was a football game, and I think I mentioned a little bit before, so it is bittersweet in that end is that so many people came through here, they found a memory here, but now, you know, it's kind of long, it's kind of past its useful life after 76 years, that's why it needs to come down. Do you have a plot? Let me go to him real quick. And, As you said, most people in Akron have a lot of memories here. We, we, we talked a lot about the salvage part of that too, but not knowing a lot of that concrete and some of the things are going to be uh, repurposed for um, uh, as recycled, a lot of the rebar and some of the concrete. And the turf just made it, a lot of those things just made it kind of impossible to start to do. And I think when you start to do something like that, it creates something that we can't necessarily manage. If you want to cut up the turf into one by one foot squares and then be able to pass them out, that's difficult to manage on our part. So we did just kind of go for demolition. We'll go back here again. Yes, sir. 
you have an overly fond memory coming here? Yeah, like I said, the um, the uh, just the coming here with my dad to football games on Friday nights. He traveled a lot during the week, so I know he looked forward to coming to a football game on Friday night, packing his two kids in the car. He has four, but he took me and my brother here, um, and he came with a bunch of friends, and they would come every Friday night, whether it was a game here or somewhere else. But when we came here, it was special because it was so big, and it was on the other side of town for us, and it, it was special. I got to spend time with my dad. So, yeah, it's very special on that end. I know some ideas were thrown out, some things that could have been done here. Is there a part of you disappointed something could have been done, or was the building just too old? I, I, I personally, I think, and I'm not the engineer, and maybe somebody, the engineering side of it can say, you know what, hey, at some particular point that could have happened. But I know when I became mayor, this was long past due, is, is ready to come down. So whether it's disappointed or not, I know we need to move forward and maybe, you know, do something for the airport and work around, um, you know, how the derby schedule is too. So. How stable is that hill if you remove the, the concrete? Uh, I'll let the engineer ask that particular question, not to get myself in, in too much trouble. But that's why we're leaving that struct that side of the structure up. So. Is that where the hole is underneath the stands on that side? Uh, that I'm going to have to ask a, an engineer on that side too. There's an entrance on the top on George Washington when it comes to that part. That that sits on, on top of the hill and then there's still the, the structure underneath. But that side will definitely keep up that roadway too. So. Listen, why don't we go in and take a look inside. I know we're going to give a high, fi or a, a high sign to the demolition crew so they can start to knock some things down and you get some footage. I really appreciate all of you coming out here today. Thanks. All right, so um, what we're going to do is we're going to allow you guys to, to uh, stand in the end zone. We're going to ask that you go no further than the O in Akron, and then you'll be able to get um, whatever footage you want. Um, we'll give you about 15 minutes. Hopefully that will be sufficient, and we just ask that everyone be respectful of everyone's of space and shot and be safe. Again, you're walking in here at your own risk, so um, enjoy. Thank you. Blanket exception, right? You don't need to check a box. Go,